Well, the, it was a nice weekend this weekend, and uh, I spent it uh, trying to get some projects done. So, what I did today was um, put uh, three eighths inch shims around all my, my nu nu nuke lids here, and I also cored. Uh, inch and three quarters hole for uh, my caps for feeding and I'm doing this all pre uh, wax dipping so I'm getting that done and it was not without its its uh, troubles today lost power in my garage I think I had a GFI outlet that went bad so had to kind of work around that and then my uh end to my stapler decided to lose all the bearings so I couldn't plug in my stapler anymore to uh, staple all the all the ends uh, actually I got all of them done and I popped it off and went to go put it back on and that must have been when it uh, fell out and I only had one more to go so one of these uh, hive tops the shims did not get stapled they just got glued in place so see how that works but uh, also mixed up some syrup. It was a beautiful day, but it's supposed to be uh, warm but rainy for the next few days. Uh, so the bees are not going to get out. Uh, well, what a absolutely dreary March day. But it's a typical March weather. Rainy, cool. Not cold, you know, it's probably in the 40s, somewhere around there, but uh, there's really nothing you can do. You can't do yard work. Maybe some inside stuff, but really, today's more housekeeping day for me, but um, I've got... buckets on my on my bees out here I don't know they when it's been colder they've been kind of shying away from taking it down and I don't know if we're gonna see anything yeah very, nope very little nope they haven't they're kind of going back into cluster and they're not taking the syrup down oh there's a couple few in there Nothing in there. And these are strong colonies too. And they're just not taking any. Oh, this one's taking all that they they took all they're uh they're empty actually. They're out of syrup. So they've taken all their syrup down. So odd, you know, the difference between hives for sure. But, uh, yeah, no, I think today is a good day to, I think today is a good day for projects. Uh, I got to do the uh, high stands for the mini mating nukes, finish, get those finished up so I don't have to deal with those. Still, you know, a month and a half away from even starting to um, think about building a cell builder for grafting. Um, I want to have my first queens available the end of May, beginning of June. And I should have plenty of drones out here by then, I think. Uh, well, out at the farm anyways. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, we were, it was a really dry spring and uh, it was getting to be a fire hazard. And we just got this rain, it's been raining on and off for the last well five days I guess I'm glad I got some syrup on them I'm glad they got a pollen patty on them 
I'd like to take a look and see how they're doing on the pollen patty. Uh, I just don't like disturbing them too much. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I want to disturb them too much here. So I think dishes, laundry, beekeeping projects all at the same time. Nice thing about having a washing machine and a uh, dishwasher is you can kind of combine three things all at once. I'd rather be outside working out here just the way I'm built. Okay, let's go inside. Hey everybody, it's Kevin of Bear Creek. It's uh, March 27, 2021. It's pouring rain outside. Typical spring day here in Wisconsin. It's a little cold out. Bees are kind of hiding. Uh, so I'm in the house looking for things to do. So I'm tackling two things that I don't like while tackling a couple of things that I do like. Uh, laundry and dishes upstairs while I uh, have a have a beer and uh, and continue on some beekeeping projects here for my, for myself. I uh, got to continue on. I got my. Uh, let me show you. I got my platforms for my mini mini nukes complete here. Uh, made them out of some one by treated. Um, actually got this stuff real cheap. It's uh, picket fence actually. It's treated picket fence and it was like a dollar eighteen for a six foot board and uh, cut them up. I got like six per board so works out great for what I needed it for. I didn't need to spend a ton of money. They're only bees right? But uh, right at this particular moment I'm putting my straps I'm doing some uh, making my own straps for these uh, beehives this is just taking some work actually to do it went and bought some buckles and some straps and, and I'm just putting them all together here as I do it um, these buckles will help secure my mini mating nukes to those platforms. So, got that. That. And that. And there we go. I got uh, dog collars for very, very large dogs here. But, uh, no, it's just a quick snap. Oop. And uh, snaps together, and then you can cinch it down. I got one put together here, just kind of hangs off the bottom, got it screwed into the bottom. And then you uh, literally just set your mating nuke on it, just like this, and then take your buckle. Now, if this was on a T post, it would be a lot easier. Let me show you here. Hopefully, that's in. View. So literally that's it. You just uh, buckles on, cinches down, this sits on the T-post, and it's just secures it from raccoons from opening it up, bears, or uh, wind, for that matter. So that'll work just fine uh, for doing it. Very, pretty cheap uh, solution to my, to my problem. And uh, 
That's it. I love these little projects coming up with. Uh, the only downside is the laundry is screening. Downside is is uh, the little things are tedious. Tedious. That's pretty much it. So I've got, uh, you know, I got to make. 20 or so of these, I guess, 25 or I don't know, somewhere around there. So I'm well on my way. I just have a few left. Um, but it's going pretty quick, actually. Surprisingly, each one of these is, doesn't look like it, but each one of these is 42 inches long of strapping. So I bought a 100 foot roll. That's just, whoops what I got left of the roll here, not much left. And uh, I was shocked at how much I actually needed. I thought it, maybe two foot would work. Uh, I, I went and bought a whole bunch of two foot straps without measuring it. And uh, it wasn't even close. So kind of had to go off the reservation and do these things to get them done. But, uh, you know, it's... March rarely do I have bucket feeders on this time of the year, but we've got a pretty decent spring. Now it's gotten a little cool, but it hasn't been cold per se. Uh, the bees are taking the syrup in the daytime, not so much at night, and, and they're not sucking it down left and right, but they are taking it down. And I've got pollen patty on as well. Um, got some very strong colonies this year. Which is great, great finally to have uh, some really strong colonies entering spring, which means um, you know splits uh, on time and uh, making more bees, and that's what I'm after this year. Is uh, is lots of queen rearing and making nukes and uh, grafting. Yes, I know I've gotten a lot of comments about my beer choice of beer, and I have to say, I'm sure there are a lot of great beers out there. Uh, Microbrews are not my thing, but uh, 1799 for 30 cans, that's right up my alley. I, I, uh, I, if beer didn't have alcohol in it, I probably wouldn't drink it. So it's not about the taste for me. Just being honest. Saw a video the other day of a beekeeper, YouTuber, um, and uh, for whatever reason, it bugged the hell out of me because this guy's got a just a ton of followers, and I was watching him work his hive with his hive tool, and and I was just shock as to what he was doing so pretty soon I'm just going to come up with a little uh, YouTube tip video on uh, sort of the proper way to use your hive tool when you're putting on and off boxes um, like I said for as many hives as he had I'm just, I just was in shock as to what the hell he was doing with his hive tool um, so that video will be coming out as soon as I'm able to start working my bees I'll probably do something like that got some really good progress on my new apiary got all my platforms done and uh, now you see, see I got all these boxes complete here uh, these, those are my nuke boxes and uh, I'm literally just waiting to uh, to wax dip them. Um, my guy that 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 dips them for me. Uh, we've got a tentative date of I think I think we, we we settled on like April 10th or somewhere around there. Uh, if it's warm enough, he wants to wait until it's 60 degrees, which is a good thing because he's worried that um, you know if you if it's too cold out, the wax won't, won't uh, 
absorb into the wood, which is a fantastic uh, thought on the subject. Um, if it cools too quickly, it'll just cool on the outside and it won't absorb into the wood grain, um, which makes perfect sense to me. So he's done it longer than I have, and uh, I will absolutely go with his recommendation on stuff like that, for sure. But I'm just grateful that, that, that there is somebody in the area that, you know, has a nice One sip of beer. Set up for waxing. So yeah, this is nothing magical. Just like I said, another project. Trying to get it done while I have the time to do it. These rainy days, that's a this perfect time to, to do these little projects. Get stuff done. I saw a video out there from a, a beekeeper and it just floored me. Uh, this guy was one step away from going postal, a beekeeping a beekeeper. And, uh, I mean, this guy is off his rocker, seriously. Uh, I mean, the rants he, he goes on, woof the, no joke. Scary, scary. It's one thing to have an opinion, but it's another thing to actually just lose it. And he seems to lose it on every video. When I originally bought these buckles, these little buckles here, uh, I was told that uh, no, I didn't need anything else to uh, to hold the other end down because I could see that there was a way to cinch it on this end. Whoops, cinch it on this end with that middle bar, but on the other end there is there is no middle bar. Uh, and I asked them, called them up and asked them specifically. They got me to technical, the guy from the warehouse called, you know, got on the phone and he said, nope, nope, you won't need it, you won't need it. Because I literally saw that they had these little, these little locking clasps available. Nope, nope, you don't need it, you don't need it. And uh, sure enough, I needed it after I had arrived. And I'm like, well, there's no way to, to, to lock these down. So I had to place a second order, and then I called very upset because I would have had to pay extra shipping, and they they didn't charge me shipping, so I was able to get that off. And I said, you guys promised me that I wouldn't need it, and I do need it. So, but I think these will work great. And if I'd have known about these a long time ago, I'd have made my dog's collars out of these. I mean, these are like $9 a collar, a dog collar, uh, if you buy them at Fleet Farm. And uh, I think everything everything together was, well, the strapping was a little bit more expensive, but of course I got 100 foot of it. But if I had had to guess each, each one of these together, 20, but two bucks total with the glasses. That's it. All done. Now what am I going to do the rest of the day? Fold clothes and drink beer, I guess, huh?